Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this cool looking stair design. It looks like a tube and you kind of go through this tube to go upstairs or downstairs. Now I've already done a bunch of stair tutorials so if you want to see any of these other tutorials the links are in the description of this video. And before I get started I would like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to go to Architectural Template. And before I do anything, I like to set the units. So I'm just going to choose meters, go OK, OK. And now let's just go to South Elevation and I'm just going to drop it down to, I don't know, something like 3 meters or 3.5. Because we don't really need the extreme height. Okay, so once this is completed, I'm going to go to level 1 and let's create a floor. So I'm just going to do a rectangle like this. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Okay, and just go finish, go into 3D, select it, go here to copy, paste, open up the drop menu, go to align to selected levels, choose level 2, and there you go. So we have the floor 1 and the floor 2 and we're going to make the stairs from one to the other. Now, I'm just going to go here to South Elevation and now let's create the stair. I'm going to be modeling the stairs as an in-place component. So I'm just going to go here to Component, Model in Place, choose the stair, where it is. Okay, here it is. Okay, stairs 1, fine. Okay, now let's start modeling the stairs. So first I'm just going to go to Level 1 and create a reference plane. So just type in RP as a shortcut for reference plane and place one reference plane like this. And I'm just going to select the name and I'm going to name it front back. So I'm just going to use something like this, FB. Okay, let's now go to South Elevation and let's go here to annotate and let's use these symbolic lines. So go symbolic line and for the plane let's choose front back. Okay, and this will be a steep stair, so I'm just going to be kind of plotting out the stair heights here. So, okay, let's use the line. So I'm just going to go 0.2 by 0.2 meters. So this is kind of a residential steep stair. And now I can select this and copy it, make sure to check multiple, and then kind of copy it upward. And once I have a few done, I can select all of them and then go again, copy and go all the way up. Okay, this looks fine. Let's just delete this here. And let's leave it like that. Okay, so once this is finished, now we can start placing the tube. And to do that, first you need to go here again to annotate and do a symbolic line that's 45 degrees like this and just place it like that. And now you're going to create a reference plane, so RP, and it needs to be perpendicular to this stair line or stair diagonal line. And let's create this and let's call it tube. Okay, so once this is completed, we can now go and create an extrusion. Let's set the plane and let's pick a plane and let's pick this tube. Okay, and let's open it up in 3D. Now you can't really model in 3D like this, so you can go to the viewer. And viewer basically means you're looking at a plane perpendicularly. So when you open up the viewer, you get something that looks like this. And it's kind of a separate window that you can move around. So I'm just going to turn on here to wireframe. And maybe we can see something. wireframe visual style okay and if you can't see your line your detail lines don't worry you just need to create kind of the tube so I'm going to go here and create it as an ellipse and just place it anywhere you can move it around later so let's make it I don't know something like 2 meters in height or maybe a bit lower 1.8 and let's make it this wide and just go finish and then go pick lines and do an offset of whatever you want. So I'm just going to go 80 millimeters and create OK or 0 0.08 meters. Yeah, something like that. OK, and just go finish. And now just exit out of this viewer and you get something that looks like this. Now you go into South Elevation 
and then you can move this around so place it over here kinda like that and then you extend it all the way up so you kinda need to place it like so yeah this looks about right yeah I like this okay so once this is this tube is actually placed maybe bring it a bit lower okay so once the tube is in place now you can kinda cut it out so I'm just going to go here create void form void extrusion open it up and let's just pick this line over here like so and then kinda create an extrusion that's going to be cutting through this go to here and to here and do the same thing over here but I want this tube to be kinda poking out it's an interesting interior element so let's just create it okay it needs to kinda start from here and kinda model it like that and this doesn't really have to have any particular shape now you just go finish you go to level 1 and you kinda extend it a bit and then if you go into 3D you get something that looks like this okay now we need just to add the stairs and to do that I'm going to go again to south elevation and now let's go into create extrusion pick lines and let's use this pick lines over here pick this zigzag line and I know I have this half step it's annoying me too but I'm kinda too lazy to change the heights right now okay let's just finish this stair over here kinda like that go finish and then go into level 1 and just extend it a bit so it looks kinda like this now what you're going to do is you need to go into 3D and you can see it's kinda poking out over here if we change the hidden line it looks kinda like that so what we need to do is we need to create another void form so to do that I'm going to go here into create and I'm actually going to create a regular extrusion and when you set the work plane set to tube go OK and I'm, I'm just going to use pick lines to pick this actually the inside of this tube and then just create a rectangle around it like so and when you go finish you get something that looks like this and you just need to extend it all the way out and all the way here and then you go here into the properties panel and you ch change it from solid to void so you just go void apply and now you go cut geometry and you cut this with the stair and you get something that looks like this and now you can select the actual tube let's select the tube let's add material I'm going to just use gypsum wallboard because that's white go OK and for the stair let's choose some wood so go here by category yeah let's try some dark wood like walnut go apply OK finish mode OK now we're back into architecture let's go to level 1 we get something like this this is how it looks like in floor planet it, it actually looks quite cool so I'm just going to go here to create a camera and then I'm just going to place it like so extend it a little bit and now let's try rendering so I'm just going to render it as a draft and you get something that looks like this now this looks really cool I'm quite happy with the result and I hope you you've enjoyed this video okay that's pretty much it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this tutorial and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day